One thing I thought was weird was they didn't give you a hexagon key to loosen up your wheels, but thankfully I had a few extras here. So I'm just loosening up the wheels that were a bit sticky when I first got it. And yeah, that was a big crank right there. So it was way too tight. Yeah, that spins way better now. Alternatively, you might see wheels that are too loose and they'd be making too much noise when you spin it. Yeah, so as you can see, this one spins way better than this one. So I'm gonna undo this one just a tiny bit. These are really tight. Yeah, so that definitely was the reason why it was getting a little stuck there. Perfect. And this is the same. Perfect. And then last but not least is to remove the brake because nobody wants a brake when you're bull bidding with your Husky, right Slush? Nobody wants that brake. So it seemed you needed to take out this side first, but I think once you just take out this back wheel connector for the brake, it'll just pop right out like that. I just pulled it and it came right out. Also, if you want to see inside the wheel, here's the inside. It's very uh, plasticky, I'd say, around here. So this definitely could break if you're going through some rough terrain. But overall, really great quality. I've had other wheels with insides that are plastic that would just break like, within a week. But this definitely seems like durable plastic. One tip that I think would be useful is to listen to the wheels. I just figured out that this one isn't perfect in the sense that when you spin it, you can feel it's a tiny bit on imbalance. So holding, holding your wheels from the middle cylinder like this can really help see if there's any imbalances, whereas this one is. I'm probably gonna have to take out the bearings and re-put it back in to align the bearings properly. It's one thing to note that your wheels can come refurbished. I believe this one's refurbished because you can see the edges right here. The edges right here are a bit cut, which means that somebody put took out the bearings and put it back in. It didn't do a perfect job because I can feel it by just doing that. I could feel it within the roller blade as well. So this definitely was a refurbished wheel. Just something to look out for. All right, Slush, are you ready to test them out? Let's test out our blades, all right, bud? Let's go. Let's go, bud. Yeah, you can, you can tell new wheels are faster every time. So stay on the right side, bud. Stay on the right side, bud. Rollerblading with your dog tip. If you want to put them on the right side and they're on the left side, all you have to do is swing them over, get your momentum, and swing over to the left side and keep them on that side. This guy keeps wanting to go on my left side. So in this case, what I'm going to do, swing on my right side, Pull them with my right hand on the right side.
<laughs> he loves it. Either way. Let's go, bud. Slash, am I pulling you now? Let's go. Let's go, Slash. Let's go, let's go. Rip that corner so fast. Let's go get Jess. Let's go, Slash. Let's go. I got caught under his feet. Good boy. Yeah, let's fix that, okay? Good boy. Let's fix it. Let's fix it himself. I think he loves this one. He just doesn't want to hurt it. It doesn't seem to be restricting him at all.